an unidentified object was caught on camera flying past the SpaceX rocket just minutes after liftoff. The internet lighting up with questions over this video. Did the object come from the rocket or from somewhere else? This object you see here was caught on camera flying past the SpaceX rocket just minutes after liftoff last week. Elon Musk has revealed that SpaceX cameras keep detecting something mysteriously huge during their missions. Today, we will take a look at what exactly it is. Who hasn't heard of Elon Musk, the billionaire business mogul and investor? He's only 51 years old, but is worth an estimated $174 billion. This makes him the second richest person in the world, according to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index and Forbes Real-Time Billionaires List. The tech prodigy and angel investor responsible for Tesla also started SpaceX in 2002, a company that specializes in aerospace manufacturing and space transport services. The Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, better known as SpaceX, produces spacecraft, launches satellites, and operates as a satellite communications company. Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy Launch Vehicles, multiple rocket engines, cargo dragon, crew spacecraft, and the Starlink communication satellite are some of the company's most well-known and successful offerings. Multiple missions have been sent into space by the Starlink satellite internet constellation, and it is only natural for space fans to watch the footage with great interest. As it turns out, some of these missions aboard various SpaceX spacecraft have encountered unidentified objects that many believe could be evidence of the existence of extraterrestrial life. Just recently, Elon Musk revealed that one of the SpaceX cameras keeps detecting something unbelievably massive during their missions, and they're not sure what exactly it is. Let's find out more about it in this video. Starlink launches make people look up and wonder what in the world they are seeing. The ascending SpaceX rocket carrying the Starlink satellites can produce a massive glowing plume in the sky, depending on the weather and the trajectory of the launch. Then, once the satellites are set loose, people begin to notice a mysterious train-like line of lights zipping across the night sky. Images flood social media as observers try to get an answer, often wondering if we're being invaded by aliens. But the answer is no, it's just another Starlink launch. People who live on the coasts are more likely to see the launch plume as the rocket leaves either the Kennedy Space Force Base in Florida or the Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The satellites are then seen as a train of lights after they've been launched from the rocket and are traveling upward into their orbits. Even a day or two after takeoff, this string of lights can be seen in the sky. The dots represent individual Starlink satellites with 46 or more typically in motion away from the planet and into their eventual orbits. Unfortunately, by the time they reach their final orbit, they're usually too high for the naked eye to detect. Astronomers, on the other hand, must still contend with them. SpaceX's Starlink is a satellite network that will bring high-speed internet to underserved areas such as rural and remote communities. SpaceX expects to launch 12,000 Starlink satellites in the next few years. One study found that the speed of satellite internet was 47% faster than that of fiber optic cable internet. That's fine and dandy. Contrarily, Starlinks are very bright. They are frequently spotted by sky watchers. Together, they form a phenomenon known as a mega constellation or a large group of orbiting satellites. Is the recent surge in Starlink satellites responsible for the uptick in reported UFO sightings? In addition, astronomers are concerned. In astronomical photographs, the Starlink satellites frequently appear as unwanted background clutter. They could potentially disrupt the carefully conducted scientific observations that have provided us with our current understanding of the universe. In January of 2015, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk made the initial Starlink proposal public. Although it was unnamed at the time, Musk claimed that paperwork had been filed with international regulators to launch around 4,000 satellites into low Earth orbit and his foresight has been proven correct so far," he said in a speech unveiling the project. In an effort to corner a portion of the global internet connectivity market, which is estimated to be worth $1 trillion, Musk rapidly increased his initial estimate of the number of satellites needed to accomplish his goals. SpaceX has been given approval to launch 12,000 satellites by the US FCC, with the possibility of increasing that number to 30,000 in the future. 
To give you some context, there were 4,852 operational satellites in Earth's orbit as of January 1, 2022. 2,386 of them were Starlinks as of September 1, 2022. In May of 2021, when this article was first published, humanity had sent into space fewer than 9,000 objects. The United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs puts the number at 13,672 as of September 3, 2022. Starlink satellites go around at an altitude of 340 miles or 550 kilometers. This ensures that they won't end up as useless space junk after they die, as they will be pulled to Earth by atmospheric drag and burn up within a few years at this altitude, a problem SpaceX may hope to tackle using Starship. According to SkyandTelescope.com, each one weighs 500 pounds or 227 kilograms and is about the size of a standard coffee table. The sight of the first Starlink satellites zipping across the sky was thrilling. However, Subsequent launches included even more, to the alarm of the astronomical community. In 2018, SpaceX deployed two test satellites called Tintin A and Tintin B. Successful completion of the mission was achieved. Based on those preliminary numbers, management made the call to reduce fleet operations. Officials voted on the change, and the FCC gave its blessing. On May 23, 2019, 60 Starlink satellites rode to orbit on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. SpaceX has since begun launching between 46 and 60 Starlink satellites simultaneously. Despite the promise of high-speed broadband internet, SpaceX has taken criticism within the astronomical community for its Starlink satellites due to their brightness and potential to disrupt observations of the night sky. The National Science Foundation and the American Astronomical Society released a report on the situation in August 2020. Discussions among more than 250 experts at the Virtual Satellite Constellations 1, or SATCON 1, workshop expressed concern that the bright train of satellites marching across the sky will hinder their observations. SpaceX has begun equipping their satellites with a blackened sunshade, dubbed VisorSat, in an effort to decrease the satellite's apparent brightness by decreasing the amount of sunlight reflected. The SATCON 1 group has proposed this as one of six options. Initially, in 2021, a prototype Starlink satellite with a black, anti-reflective coating was launched as part of the effort to lessen the spacecraft's impact. This satellite was later renamed DarkSat. DarkSat's brightness in orbit was found to be half that of a regular Starlink satellite from ground-based observations, which is an improvement but still not up to astronomers' standards. DarkSat's anti-reflective coating made it invisible to the unaided eye, but it was still far too bright to avoid interfering with the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, which is currently under construction in Chile and other major telescopes. This was determined by comparing DarkSat to a typical Starlink sibling using a 2-foot or 0.6-meter telescope at the Coirama Observatory in Chile. In addition, the darker color of DarkSat retains too much heat, so the company prefers the visor design. In September 2019, the European Space Agency, or ESA, announced that it had directed its Aeolus satellite to perform evasive maneuvers and avoid crashing into Starlink 44, one of the first 60 satellites in the mega constellation. This prompted additional criticism of SpaceX. The probability of a collision was 1 in a 1,000, which is 10 times higher than the ESA's threshold for carrying out a collision avoidance maneuver, prompting the agency to take action. Hugh Lewis, head of the Astronautics Research Group at the University of Southampton in the United Kingdom and Europe's leading space debris expert, said in August 2021 that Starlink satellites are the single main source of collision risk in low Earth orbit. About 1,600 close passes of less than 0.6 miles, or 1 kilometer, were predicted to involve Starlink satellites every week at the time. About half of all occurrences fall into this category. Every time a new fleet of satellites is sent into orbit, this figure increases. Starlink's first-generation constellation of 12,000 satellites may reach 90% coverage by that time. Once every five years, SpaceX will update the Starlink mega constellation with brand new hardware. As their useful lives come to an end, the old satellites will be guided into Earth's atmosphere, where they will burn up. Although this is a welcome development in the fight against space junk, the issue persists. There may be unintended consequences for life on Earth 
due to the large number of satellites that will be burning in the otherwise unpolluted upper layers of the atmosphere. There is an immediate need for more study to learn the results of burning more and more satellites in the atmosphere. Experts have warned that these particles are likely to remain in the upper atmosphere indefinitely. This is because the effects would become more severe as more and more of those particles accumulated. Decades of pollution from burning mega-constellation satellites could result in changes on par with those brought on by the burning of fossil fuels. Launch of 49 Starlink satellites aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Florida's Kennedy Space Center on February 3, 2022 was routine and successful. The majority of the satellites were doomed to an early demise when, just one day later, a geomagnetic storm above Earth pushed up the density of the atmosphere, increasing the drag on the satellites. Up to 40 of the satellites are expected to re-enter or have already re-entered the Earth's atmosphere as a result of increased drag at low altitudes, which prevented the satellites from exiting safe mode and beginning orbit-raising maneuvers. Internet via Starlink can be accessed in far-flung areas in a matter of minutes with the right gear, making it an invaluable asset in times of crisis. The scale of astronomy's satellite constellation problem may only increase with SpaceX's plans. Amazon's Kuiper project, OneWeb, China's Hongyan, and other projects launching their own global networks of hundreds or thousands of satellites with little to no regulation. To sum up, have you witnessed a bright column of light soaring through the air? Or perhaps a fleet of luminous satellites moving across the sky at once? If so, you've likely witnessed Starlink. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about Starlink satellites? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.